Well, many people love KCI for its ease of flying in and out, and the layout is about to change, though, and drastically. The Kansas City City Council voted on the plan for a new terminal one hour ago. Zach Teckenberg is at City Hall with what happens next, Zach. Well, Mark, the council voted 9-3 to three in favor of moving forward into looking into a plan that could consolidate KCI's three terminals into one single terminal. But that vote came after a whole lot of debate. As you can tell, three people voted against it. Those three councilmen include Sharp, Taylor, and Wagner. And uh, they voted against that resolution that affirms and the council's support for looking into that single terminal. Scott Wagner said during a terminal presentation last week, he was left unimpressed with the $1.2 billion plan. He says he needs more solid numbers before giving his uh, uh, support to the project. That's despite the fact that the city's money would not pay for the new terminal at KCI. The $1.2 billion would come from federal grants, pass passenger facility charges, and revenue bonds. But I will be voting against it today because a case has been presented that I think is incomplete. And because it is incomplete, it is very difficult for me to say that this is that we should go and move forward. We have a lot of work to do to even get to the decision that we're actually going to do it. And if we do not do that work and we just put it up on the shelf and wait for another five years, we're going to be in worse shape than we are today. And it is important to note that this is still far from a done deal. The council is still in the very beginning stages of this. During deliberations, Mayor Sly James even said that he's not at this point wowed with, uh, with the proposal just yet. But he says the city needs to continue the conversation because Kansas City at this point isn't in, too, isn't in deep enough and isn't forced into committing anything to this project. And the project, by the way, goes to the FAA now for approval. Live downtown, Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News.